Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with something a little bit different today. I was tagged, yep, I was tagged to do this video by Miss Neva at Manic Mama Musings. So let's like go into it here, okay? This is a list which I had taken notes and written down, um, but then I couldn't read my handwriting so I had to take some time out and type it out because yeah, the handwriting is atrocious. Anyhow, this is 23 non-yarny things about me. And the first thing is a typo because it says 23 nin-yarny things about me. Good grief. Let's see if I can spell and or type today. Alrighty. Some of these things you may know already. Some you may not. Um, even if I don't tag you at the end, feel free to do this. These are always fun. I love getting to know little tidbits about people that I watch and people that I interact with. And if you don't have a channel or don't put videos up or whatever, feel free to just make the list and leave it in the comments. And I will have the list of questions as they were um, in the description. So you can copy and or paste or whatever. Okay, here we go. Favorite color. Now looking at my videos, you might think that my favorite color is pink or blue because I always have the pink in my titles and stuff. I love that because it's eye-catching and because my phone will do that. And I do love blue, but actually my favorite color is purple. All different shades of purple. Um, I just don't wear purple a lot, but I do absolutely love it. My bathroom is a light lilac, actually, the, the entirety of the bathroom, so with white trim. Yes, I do love purple. Uh, favorite music. That's tough to narrow down just a favorite music, even just a favorite genre, because I like most music. And I will say most because some of it is just like, no, no. But um, yeah, <laughs> I love metal. I know, right? Little old lady with the uh, gray hair loves metal. Yes, please. I love 80s music. Um, I love 90s music. I love swing music, like swing dancing and stuff. I love classical, but my favorite would have to be metal or metal slash 80s because I can never pick just one of anything ever. Uh, favorite food. That's another one that's tough for me because obviously fat chick here, I love everything. I love to eat. But if I had to narrow it down to just one food that really just says Deborah, it would have to be a burger. I know, I love sushi, I love pizza, I love like everything in between, um, but a burger, a big juicy flippin' burger just does it. When you're in the mood for a burger like that, nothing else will do, seriously. Uh, soda or pop? In the South, a lot of people just refer, where I live, a lot of people just refer to it as a Coke. What kind of Coke you want? Mountain Dew? I mean, that's, that's really how it goes here. Um, Soda or pop? I say soda most of the time. I rarely will say pop, and I don't usually say, what kind of Coke do you want? So yeah, for me, it's soda. When I say that, people are like, are you from up north? Yeah, kinda. Favorite animal? I love animals. I love most animals on the planet. Yeah. But my favorite animal would have to be and again, I can't narrow it down to just one because we're talking to me here. Any kind of cat. I love big cats, like tigers and lions, and but the cougar. If you've ever looked at a cougar or a puma, their faces are just beautiful. And of course, my house cat. Y'all y'all know about Oscar. I don't know where he is right now. He was in here a little while ago. Um, I put his pictures at the end of my videos now. And there's a playlist for um, just Oscar things with videos with Oscar in them. But... I love cats in general, but my favorite, if I had to specify, just, oh, a cougar. There is just, yes, I would love to be able to pet them and snuggle them. I know that's not feasible, but you know, a girl can dream. Uh, favorite holiday. Again, it's a toss up. Por que no los dos, okay? Why not both? Because I love everything. I love Halloween, duh. And I love Thanksgiving. To me, and I know people say, well, we should switch it to Indigenous Observation Day or whatever. Yes, we probably should. But to me, Thanksgiving is, is, is cooking a really awesome meal with all of the fall foods that I love and sharing it with friends. That to me is Thanksgiving and I love it. 
So yeah, Thanksgiving and Halloween because it could be Halloween all year round. Absolutely. Favorite book? That one is actually easy for me. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yes. Douglas Adams. Um, I wish that he were still around and still writing because Douglas Adams was amazing. Um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy was a big part of my teenagehood and growing up. There'll be, you know, 42 is the answer to life, the universe, and everything. It absolutely is. Favorite pizza. Now, with favorite pizza, are we talking about type of pizza, toppings on a pizza, brand of pizza? I mean, I haven't tried all the pizzas yet. How can I just pick one, right? But if I had to choose from what I know now, it would probably be something, oh gosh, and this is even hard. Because each type of pizza is really its own thing. The thin crust, the New York style, is its own thing. You cannot really compare it directly to like a Chicago style pizza. Because they are two separate things that are just called the same name. Um, most of the time, in general, I like a thicker crust. I'm a thicker girl. I like a thicker crust, okay? I like it to be saucy. I love a good amount of sauce on my pizza. And that makes me different than a lot of people. Um, I love pizza that has veggies on it. I am not necessarily one of those, give me 73 types of meats and no veggies. No. The perfect pizza for me would probably be a hand-tossed crust at a place that makes their own dough, okay, with delicious sausage, some red onions, green peppers, and maybe some mushrooms. That would probably be ideal. Yeah hand-tossed with that if you're talking about the chain places definitely like a pan style pizza um, I yeah I like food I like food okay um, favorite pastime since this is a non yarny sort of a thing um, that's tough for me a pastime anymore is sleeping because I don't get much of it but I really enjoy listening to music and again even with that kind of stuff I'm never just doing one thing um I like to listen to music and sing in the car yeah <laughs> I love to just ride around uh, the weather's nice just take a ride and enjoy the scenery we live in a really beautiful part of the country actually most parts of the country are beautiful if you just ride around and look right um I do like to do that I enjoy shopping a lot of people don't like going and walking around the stores as long as it's not busy like too many too peopley you know um, I enjoy just doing a walk around the store as a matter of fact last night as I'm recording this on Sunday um, we went to Publix which is a grocery store um, here in the southeast and at Publix the shopping carts are always in perfect working order. They are smooth. There's no bloop 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 or, or leaning to the left or anything. They're always perfect. And that just, it sounds stupid, but that just makes the, the most wonderful shopping experience. Okay. So yeah, walking around, picking things out and shopping. That's one of my favorite pastimes. Favorite TV show? How do you narrow it down to one? I'm over 50. I've seen a lot of TV in my years, okay? If we're talking favorite for reasons that I just became a big part of the fandom, Firefly. If you've never watched Firefly, look it up. Fox killed it. Ran this, ran it out of order and it got it preempted for sports, okay? They showed the pilot last. Yeah, just to let you know how messed up that was. But I think Netflix has it. You can watch it on like DVD or whatever. Seriously, watch it beginning to end and then scream at the TV as to why there aren't more. I am not even kidding. Firefly, probably, yes. My current favorite TV show, that's still tough. Um, Star Trek is putting out some great things and I've been a Star Trek fan since like birth. And... Picard, oh gosh, I've been watching Picard and just been engrossed by it. Love The Blacklist. James Spader and The Blacklist is awesome. 
just, yeah, there's a lot of good TV out there. There's a lot of crap TV too, but there's a lot of really good TV. Favorite fruit. Well, I haven't tried them all yet, so that is kind of difficult. Um, I love a good plum. I love strawberries. A sweet, juicy navel orange. A blood orange, yes. How can I narrow that down? I love food, I love fruits. Grapes, just for their portability and easy, they're so easy to eat. Grapes are wonderful. Um, but yeah, favorite in what way? <laughs> that again becomes a problem because there are so many different categories. And now I want a piece of fruit really, really badly and I don't think I have any. Also, I could say one thing though, my favorite fruit, tomato. Oh, but yes, a tomato is a fruit. There you go. Favorite veggie, hmm, since we can't count the tomato. This one is actually, well, I love veggies. I love all kinds of food, y'all food all right um but my favorite veggie would have to be a potato is potato they're so versatile and fried baked um braised braised potato mm -hmm. potatoes are delightful and there are different potatoes for different applications and each one is wonderful potato okay favorite subject in high school let me tell you High school was a long time ago. I mean, really, it was. Um, I always loved my science classes. I was really into science. Why didn't I become a scientist? Because I dropped out twice in my senior year. More about that at another time. Uh, but yes, I loved science. I loved math until it became an issue with I had one particular teacher that I literally learned nothing all year except for how to walk around campus with a pass and he ended up being asked to retire. Long story with that as well. But yes, I loved science. Um, and I loved Spanish. My Spanish teacher, who I'm still friends with on Facebook, um, she was awesome. And yeah, she's now retired, but she's still awesome. And I loved Spanish. And then I used it then, and then I didn't use it for many, many years, and now I'm trying to learn it and learn more and be more conversational. It's a struggle when you get older, let me tell you. Okay. Favorite actor slash actress. Um, there are a lot. There are a lot of talented people on the airwaves and on the movie screens. It makes it really hard to narrow it down to just one or two. Um, for just how personable he is, because I've met him in person, and he's a good actor, and just an all-around good guy, Nathan Fillion. Yes, check him out. He's on, on a show called The Rookie right now, which is also really good, but he was in Firefly. That's how I was introduced to Nathan Fillion. Some people were introduced to him on other shows before that. I was oblivious to Nathan Fillion before that, but yes, Nathan Fillion. He's awesome. So I'll just call it that and, and leave that alone for that. Um, actress, oh gosh. It's, I'm thinking about like a dozen different actresses floating around in my head right now and I really can't narrow it down to one. Um, almost everybody on these things says Sandra Bullock because she is awesome and wonderful. But you know what? I think I'm gonna go a little bit different and go with someone who has fairly recently passed Betty White. Now she was a comedic genius but a good actress as well and I loved the Golden Girls and of course she's been in a lot of stuff over the years but yes we'll go with that. Favorite singer. Different singers for different moods but if anybody could sing anything to me it would be David Draymond from Disturbed. David Draymond has a very, very versatile and trained voice. If you think that all he does is the Down With The Sickness song, you are so wrong. He has some songs that are very much ballads and they're beautiful and just emotion evoking, okay? And then he's got those hard, just driving songs that are awesome. And then he's got the covers. If you've never seen it or heard it or whatever, look up the video for Disturbed, the Sound of Silence. Beautiful, beautiful, 
Okay. Favorite superhero. I'm going to go purely aesthetic here because it's superhero. I mean, come on. Thor. As played by Chris Hemsworth. Ladies, tell me that you disagree. Come on. That's a good choice. Favorite season, autumn. This is one where I'm not splitting hairs. It's autumn, straight up. Halloween, Thanksgiving, the weather cools off, the leaves change and become beautiful, autumn. Um, where'd I go? Oh, I skipped one, sorry. That was number 18. Uh, number 17, favorite comedian. This one's pretty easy for me because I'm going to the past. George Carlin. If you are too young to remember George Carlin, look him up, listen to his specials. Oh my gosh, the man was brilliant. Favorite movie? That's in the too tough to call category. I have I have different favorite movies that are favorites for different reasons. Um, nostalgic favorite movie? The Breakfast Club. I must have seen that a hundred times. Maybe as many times as I've seen Rocky Horror Picture Show. And that's saying something, okay? Someone has put on The Breakfast Club in the house before and I've started just reciting the lines from it word for word. That's stuck in my head. Why did I walk to the kitchen? Who the hell knows? But yeah, I still have that. Um, favorite series of movies, just for the whole over-the-top funness, The Expendables, Zombieland, stuff like that. I am not a, oh, romantic movie kind of chick. I, when I'm watching a movie, I want it to be total escapism. I want stuff to be blowing up just over the top. And that's what I get with those. It's kind of fun. Um, favorite smell? <laughs> Food? <laughs> but no, let's get a little more specific. Um, just in general, favorite smell. There is a scent that happens when you're driving around and people have their fireplaces going. An environmentally sound smell, no. But that is a smell. Not, not a fire necessarily, but someone's got their chimney going or someone has a small fire pit in their yard. That smell is delightful. And it's very similar to the smell when you're driving past a good smoked barbecue restaurant. So there's that. Best friend. Didn't we stop having like best friends back in school? I mean, that's, yeah. It's too hard to call a best friend because then you put somebody else out who thinks they might be your BFF. You know what I'm saying? I have a few, very few close friends. I have a lot of YouTube friends that I absolutely adore and love, but the, the real in-person close friends, those are very, very few. Those are my best friends. Favorite decade? 80s. The hair. One of these days I'll find some old pictures of myself. Um, the clothes, the makeup, the music. I was young. The 80s, yeah. <laughs> and favorite YouTube channel. That gets very, very tough for me because I have different ones that I like for different things. Um, one channel that's a ton of fun to watch is look up Anthony Vincent. You can also look up 10 Second Songs. He is an absolute blast. He has a beautiful voice and he can sing like anything. Always a lot of fun. Uh, there's a channel called Shalma New York. And this is, he, and you can look up, all you have to do is look up White Guy Speaks Chinese and his channel will come up, okay? He is hilarious and he doesn't do things in a mean spirited way. He's always got like a little hidden camera with him or whatever and he goes in and he's this white guy and he starts speaking like perfect Mandarin or perfect Fujianese or just all kinds of languages. He will learn as much as he can and go in and speak to people in their native language. And there you go, they go, Ding! and then he reveals that, yeah, he's, he's making videos and, and they love it because people have taken the time to learn their language and he is so much fun with it. Uh, that's a big fun one for me. Another one that I really, really enjoy is called Lang Focus, which is uh, very much the, the bones of languages and it's a lot of fun with comparing them. Yes, I am a nerd about a lot of things. I'm not gonna name a favorite crochet channel because there are too many and we are just like one big community. That would just be like, you know, picking a favorite kid or something. I, I don't think you're allowed to do that. 
Um, I also love Wham Bam Tesla Cam. That is a lot of fun. Look it up. Seriously. Um, what else? Oh, and on the daily, I watch uh, Philip DeFranco, the Philip DeFranco show. That is a news show now. He has certainly evolved from when he first came onto the YouTube scene, like 11 or 12 years ago. He was one of the, the first, he was an OG YouTuber, okay? But now he does a news show every day. Always wonderful. Um, always informative. And it's just like a 15 minute or less chunk of news. You get filled in. Sometimes there's a douchebag of the day. That's always fun. And yeah, so I like a lot of stuff. It's, yeah, it's hard for me to pick one of anything, literally anything. I just can't. All right, including people to tag, like I said at the beginning, because that is the end of this little list. And I wrote down people that I wanted to tag because I was like, Pew, forget. There are some people that I want to tag that'll be like, I don't want to because everybody knows everything about me. So I'm not going to tag you specifically, but if you want to do it, consider yourself tagged. Okay. Um, also, I would like to tag some people that probably don't watch my channel, but I'm going to tag them anyway, and we'll see what happens. Seta from Seta's Place. Miss Seta, she is wonderful. And I think I would love to hear her giggle through this because her giggle just makes my day when I'm watching her channel. Um, also, I would like to tag Kaylina, my own utopia. Kaylina is a wonderful mom and content creator and crocheter and knitter and she's a lot of fun and it'll be great to hear her answers on this and also i would like to tag trisha the knitting lady if you've never checked her out she's a hoot she doesn't put out a lot of stuff on her channel she's a, quite a busy lady but trisha the knitting lady is just delightful and i will have her link i'll have everybody linked down below please sure and check them out but hopefully they will all take part in this tag if you don't put out stuff on your channel just go ahead and answer it in the comments down below. I'm happy to have you there, okay? Also, check out my description always for good information that you might need at some point, I'm just saying. And um, hopefully, I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.